Has this ever happened to your MacBook before that you bought for over $2,000? <sighs> I have a solution for you. It's not gonna be the prettiest solution, but it'll save your machine, it'll give you all the benefits of using it, and it won't require you to spend another two grand with Apple. So this is a real story about what happened to me. This is an M1 Pro MacBook Pro from 2021. I upgraded from an HP laptop to a Mac and I had this bad boy. I specced it out completely, it cost me $2,700. And then I carelessly threw my phone while it was open and the screen cracked. Now, all well and good, a new screen was $900 because I didn't buy Apple Care. Big mistake. 2021 goes by, 22 and 22 goes by, 2023 goes by, 2024 almost goes by until I'm walking around with my laptop and it falls out of my hand and hits the edge of my dresser and the screen cracks again. Instead of spending another $900 because, I don't know if you know this, this laptop specifically, this M1 Pro MacBook Pro screen is just crazy expensive. Like it's just, it's just expensive beyond the point of being expensive. So I'm gonna use it as a Mac Mini and all you need to turn this into a powerhouse is a monitor, an HDMI cable, a mouse, and a keyboard. And, you know, something to journal about how crazy it is that a MacBook screen costs almost $1,000. I just plug this in here. I move this behind my window just like that and I'm good to go. So now my entire setup is just this right here. And you know, I'm not really like any, I don't really do anything crazy. I play RuneScape on one screen and I watch YouTube on my other screen. You can literally just plug your broken screen MacBook into an HDMI cable, have a monitor, have a keyboard and a mouse, and then you pretty much have a Mac mini set up. It's kind of like, it almost feels like an iMac because of just the sheer power that an M1 Pro MacBook Pro has, even in 2025. All right, quick little break here. It's Future of Froz, and I'm literally editing this video. It's only gonna be five minutes long, maybe. But one thing I really wanted to do, also, I'm definitely like, just wanted to show you what RuneScape looks like. Literally no lag or anything. Hold up, can't XP waste. All right, here we go. So, oh, that's the other thing, setting shortcuts. Maybe I should do a whole video on that. Put that in the comments. But the reason that I got this laptop is because this is what I did at Best Buy before I bought it. This is my favorite thing to do on a Mac. Opening all 49 applications. Also, just show you how powerful this is. Like, literally, I'm not even lagging on RuneScape right now. I'm just, I'm like playing normally. And this is like, I'm in world two right now. It's a pretty populated world. And I have like 50 applications open, so. Now, if you're asking what other solution I came up with, I actually did end up buying a MacBook Air, an M3, and it was on sale. I think I got it for like 900 bucks um, last year around Black Friday from Best Buy. And I use that as like my daily. I don't know, I've been like kind of getting into all these different styles of of, of tech videos lately because I've been recommending things to my friends. They gave me the idea to like, you know, just record something. And so that's kind of what I did. Anyways, peace.